One day, I was sitting on a beach in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I noticed a couple holding hands and walking along the shoreline. They looked so peaceful, like an advertisement for an island getaway. And then it happened. His cell phone went off. The woman gave him a look as if to say, go ahead, I dare you. I couldn't believe it. The idiot took the dare. Not only did he answer the phone, but he let go of her hand and walked away and talked for 10 minutes. The woman just shook her head in disgust, walked over to their beach setup, which was maybe just a 20 feet from mine, and she sat down. By now, the couple looked like prime candidates for the Dr. Phil show. Now, he walked over to her and he tried to explain, but what I heard in my head was the catchphrase that boxing fans know so well. Let's get ready to rumble. Ding, ding, the woman came out swinging. How could you, she said. I can't believe you brought your phone with you, but you had the nerve to answer it again. Now, what the guy should have done was just listen to what she had to say, but of course he didn't. Hey, he jabbed in his defense. If it wasn't for my business, we wouldn't be on this vacation. The woman rebounded with a couple of blows. Really? You call this a vacation? This is our anniversary for crying out loud. We've been here for three days so far and you can't stay away from your cell phone. And just so you know, I have a job too with a lot of responsibilities, but I know when to put it aside. You, you bring your job with you everywhere you go. It's like you're addicted. She picked up her stuff in a huff and she started to walk, took a couple of steps towards the hotel. Then she stopped. She turned and delivered the final blow. You know, we used to be married to each other, she said. Now, you're married to your job. Does this story come as a surprise? I mean, let's face it. We're living in a world that's moving at an incredible pace. And it's easy to get lost with misplaced feelings and values. I know far too many people today who were so caught up in trying to make a living that they've forgotten what it's like to live. We've adopted the illusion that money power and fame can fill the emptiness and make us feel complete. Now, don't get me wrong because I I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with these things, not at all. It's the obsession with them that really makes them dangerous. What am I getting at? I I'll tell you. Maybe it would be wise for us to come to the realization that sometimes what we think we want in life may not necessarily be what we need in order to lead a truly successful, happy life. Maybe, just maybe, we're leaving out important personal factors from the equation of what truly completes us as individuals. Maybe it's just a simple matter of occasionally taking a sacred time out to nourish our souls. Maybe it's just a matter of making a slight shift, finding your balance and choosing a better way. Or maybe there are just too many maybes in this story. And that's the word, according to Bob. <laughs>